everyone, so we just have a quick GN Extras video for you. This is a pre-built I bought to actually use. This is from Puget Systems. We haven't ever reviewed one of theirs. Uh, they're supposed to be like really high-end, sort of very hands-on support type of company. So I didn't want to do a secret shop or review like we've been doing. I basically actually just bought the computer for myself. I messaged them, emailed one of our contacts there, I said, hey, I placed an order. It's not a secret shopper thing. We will not be reviewing it. I just need a computer for my office that I can use for video editing because uh, our other parts are either assigned or we don't have time to build one or whatever. So that's kind of the story to it. I wasn't going to make any video at all, but um, keep it in mind that they knew who was buying it, of course. Uh, I did want to show some of the stuff that they've done because I, I, it's pretty cool and probably we will do a secret shopper on them at some point. But it's interesting. This, I don't remember exactly what I paid for it. It is pretty expensive compared to the parts you get. I'll say that much. But they loaded out with all Noctua fans. This is the only spec available for the um, sort of the config I was buying. Some really good attention to detail items in here. You'll see they've got this um, support plate screwed into the top of the Noctua cooler. And the reason this is interesting, so not only for shipping where um, they need to be careful that their pre builds don't have this kind of yank down on the socket and apply all this force if the package is dropped. But also long term, this is something we've been talking about with manufacturers a lot lately where coolers uh, under their own weight will lose a little bit of pressure over time. It's not like crazy significant, but this will keep it in and under the correct pressure. So that was pretty cool attention to detail. They also emailed me and asked, uh, so I bought it without a video card because we have enough of those. So I was going to just socket one we already have. They emailed. They said, hey, what kind of card are you going to use? Uh, because we want to pre-wire it for you. And that was something that the technician reached out to ask about before I had contacted them, or at least before that message got back to the text. So I think that's something they just do for you, which was cool. There's a post speaker in there, this buzzer down here. Uh, I actually really like that because it's very helpful for troubleshooting. So it's cool that they go and install those. Um, tail management's pretty clean. The use of all Nocto was interesting. If I if I had to be like super obnoxious and try to criticize one thing, it would probably be the fan orientation up here. Now, to be fair to them, it's a solid side panel, so whatever. And they probably would say they're doing it for cables, but the sticker is oriented in different directions. So failing grade. Actually, that's just me being as nitpicky as possible. They did a laser etching, I think that's what it is, on the front. So they they put their logo on these. This is just a fractal of Define, I think Define 7. And then they um, etched the logo onto it, which was nice of them to do. Uh, I, I did not pay for that part. Basically, when I reached out and said, hey, I bought a system from you guys. We're not reviewing it. Please just build it right for me. They went and put that on. Um, otherwise, this is a fractal Define 7. Let's look at the kale management really quick, too. And I've got a couple other small things I want to show on it. Uh, the packaging was actually really good. So kale management, pretty standard. It's not custom cables or anything like that, so they didn't have really much creativity beyond just bundle the cables together, and they did fine there. For uh, things that made me actually want to just briefly kind of show off what Puget built, all of it actually uh, came down to these boxes. I, I think I may have checked a uh, radio box on the website when I checked out and said, like, send all of the accessories that came in the component boxes. So all the extra cables are here, extra plate for the fractal case, uh, say cables from the motherboard, which I don't need, but, and then um, some display. Uh, and, and it looks like grommets and some screws. So they ship a separate box for that. The, that's just a fractal box under it. And then this one uh, comes with their quick start guide taped to the top. This is something we typically look at in our pre-built reviews where um, we, we want to see how good the actual guides are to educate the user. The reason I really decided to make the video was because when I opened this originally, I was impressed by, this is something they provide with all of them, so this isn't like a just because, you know, they knew who it was type of thing. I was impressed by the uh, binder with all the information, 
So um, I've, I've folded this sheet. It's got some more of their information on it. But uh, this tells you who worked on the system, and it tells you what they did. So uh, this person did phase one build, assembly phase two build, talks about who did the testing, who did quality control, all that stuff, which is kind of cool. Not you know actionable for the customer, but interesting. And if we go to the next pages, I mean, I'm going to be honest, some of this information is, uh, is, is basically useless, uh, but it's cool that they include it, I guess. So they've got thermal imaging of the system. I'm not sure how, if they're coating the glass to get a proper measurement or anything like that. And, and thermal imaging like this is, of course, of limited usefulness, uh, but it's cool that they run it through the testing. And this is something they save to your account on their website. Then the other pages, so ports and connections that walks you through the system. Uh, they talk about troubleshooting, FAQ, starter guides, and it also tells you about at what date and time this was worked on. It shows you their actual process for doing the build. So in this example, the first step was review the work order, the build notes. So I had a note in there that said I'm providing my own GPU and the status. And so uh, that was done on the 14th at about 4 p.m. And then you can see the last date here was mount the motherboard done on the 14th at 4.37 p.m. Pretty good, pretty good build time. I will note this says glue CPU fan to heatsink. I, I kind of hope they didn't actually do that. Uh, that must be a, a shipping concern. That's not something I would generally want done, though, because it makes it more difficult to maintain. So then they went through the other phases, and I mean, it's just kind of cool. Like, the, the information that's provided, it was completed on the 21st. I think there was a weekend in there somewhere. So then this page shows uh, CPU temperature. They have it hitting 70 to 75 degrees. It was really not bad. I think I bought a 13700K with that cooler on it. Uh, that was their only cooler option, which I was skeptical of, but I guess with all the other Noctua fans, it's doing all right. They show you the ambient temperature, which is pretty cool. And, um, and yeah, I mean, it's just, it's an, I just thought it was interesting. That's kind of all there is to it. It's an extra step taken. Puget charges a lot for their computers. I guess this is why uh, I will probably still validate some of this stuff, but Certainly, as as one of the more aware customers, I don't feel as much need to make sure they didn't completely fuck up the computer like I would maybe feel with, say, uh, CyberPower, SkyTech, Dell, HP, Lenovo. I don't want this video to be like an hour long, but but there's less um, less qualification requirement from me here. So that's the system. We're not going to review it. It really is just to deploy immediately and get to work. I didn't want to turn everything I ever do into content. So that's it for this one. But uh, check back as always. And maybe we'll probably sh secret shop from them in the future uh, and see, how it, see if it's all put together like this when it's an unknown customer. But the process looks pretty defined. So I have a feeling it will be. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.